For clarification, Ice Cube contacted both the Democratic and the Republican Party. He said that he had wanted to basically speak with them about what they were going to do for the black community. The Democratic Party said, we'll talk to you after the election. The Republican Party and Trump said, let's make adjustments now. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so... Yeah! So, apparently, the racist, racist Donald Trump has, if you want to say concocted, but has created the Platinum Plan along with Ice Cube. Okay. Now, first, before I even go into uh, whatever the hell I'm talking about, I want to explain a couple of things to you. Please, all of these things that we are about to say, which are in the Platinum Plan, explain to me when Democrats have even put these things on the table, nevertheless, attempted to have them passed. That's one. Two, we're talking about Ice Cube. Respect. So apparently, Donald Trump has decided that the, he has this thing called the Platinum Plan for black Americans. I'm going to say this again. The Platinum Plan for black Americans. It was revealed a, a couple of days ago. October 7th, CNN wrote about it. I'm talking about it now. I want to know when mainstream media is gonna really start throwing this in the forefront of what's being discussed, just like they throw in the forefront when Donald Trump just does and says the most ridiculous shit. I'm just saying, this guy, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, CNN says, uh, shout out to Megan Vasquez. That's the individual that wrote this specific article. Shout out to Megan Vasquez. So, uh, and it's on CNN, y'all, CNN. So, uh, President Donald Trump, it says, President Donald Trump unveiled a plan aimed at winning over black Americans on Friday, less than two months before Election Day, largely expanding upon the existing, existing economic-related initiatives the president established in his first term. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what those economic uh, initiatives were, but... CNN is not pro-Trump as far as I can tell. If they are, let me know. So I don't think they would make those accusations or, or a statement as such if he didn't do something. Anyway, the proposals include prosecuting the Ku Klux Klan and, and Antifa as terroristic organizations. Now, something else I want to say. Um, recently, the Ku Klux Klan was actually put on the terrorist group. Um actually put on the watch list part of me were uh white supremacist groups that's actually on the white the watch list now just so we can be clear on this trump put them on the watch list as far as i can tell i'm not sure if obama had them on the watch list <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised if they weren't though not a knock on obama during an atlanta evening event part of me during an atlanta event announcing what was deemed the Black Economic Empowerment Platinum Plan. First of all, could we just say shout out to Trump? Because he can't just name shit regular. Every single thing. Trump, this guy, he can't just have something just, okay, we got like a Black Economic Plan. It got to be the Black Economic Empowerment 
platinum plan. Trump sought to draw a contrast between his plan for the African-American community and Joe Biden's proposal, arguing that the former vice president inflicted damage on the black community for over 47 years he spent working in Washington, which is a fact, by the way, but we're not going to go into that. Trump garnered just 8% of the black electoral in 2016, and an average of recent 2020 polls show Biden leading Trump with black voters by 83% to 8 a 75 point margin they only care about power for themselves whatever that means my opponent is offering black americans nothing but the same old tired empty slogan trump argued look i get it everybody hates trump we need to vote him out of office i get it but he's not wrong when he says that the Democrats aren't saying anything that they didn't say in the freaking 80s. They aren't saying anything that they didn't say in the 90s. They didn't, they're not saying anything that they didn't say in the aughts. For anybody that don't know what that is, that's the when before it became 2010, but it was after 2000. <laughs> they, they're saying the same thing, but the things that they're saying never actually comes into fruition. So shout out to that shit. Anyway, the president has presented different messages on race when playing to different audiences this is a fact this guy is talking out of both sides of his mouth all the time he defended confederate symbols he is called the black lives matter movement a symbol of hate days after retweeting and then deleting a video that included a florida supporter shouting white power the white house has maintained that trump trump does not hear the supporters say the phrase now there's something that i want to say real quick about the Black Lives Matter movement. This is why I say I'm not with the Black Lives Matter movement, guys. They're other people. They're like Antifa. I support Until Freedom. If you don't know who Until Freedom is, get on it. That's who I support. I'm behind Until Freedom. This Black Lives Matter, guys, that's some white dude sitting somewhere. You know how much money those guys have collected? They've collected over a billion dollars can you please explain to me where they have put that money back into the black community or they're only putting that money into i don't know what they're putting the money into shout out to them but i haven't seen them put it back into the black community that's all i'm saying anyway but on friday the president spoke about the pillars of the plan in broad terms saying that among other proposals he would be building up peaceful urban neighborhoods with the highest standards standards of policing bringing fairness to the justice system, expanding school choice, increasing black home ownership, and creating a national clemency project to right wrongful prosecutions and the pardon individuals who have reformed their lives. Now, I want to explain something. I am not pro-Trump, okay? But Trump actually does do the things he says he's going to do. Everything that Trump says he's going to do, Trump does. Okay, so this is what I'm going to say about Trump. He's an egomaniac. Can we agree on that? He's an absolute egomaniac. He's a narcissist. It's all about Trump. That's why I'm saying I do believe Trump when he comes out and he says something. Because, pardon me, when he comes out and he says that he's going to try to do something. Because then if he doesn't do that, that makes him look bad. Trump caught COVID and came out the hospital as quickly as possible. And from what I heard, he wanted to have a Superman t-shirt on. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. I don't know what to tell you, man. Anyway, the proposal borrows efforts from proposals by the other Republicans, such as South Carolina Senator, Senator Tim Scott, who played a vital role in establishment of opportunity zones and remains the sole black Republican in the Senate. For example, Trump's plan proposes making lynching a national hate crime. In 2019, Scott co-sponsored legislation to make lynching a national of uh, make lynching a hate crime alongside non other than what the hell? Okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna repeat that. I don't know what happened to my reading ability on that line. Here we go. For example, Trump's plan proposes making lynching a national hate crime. In 2019, Scott 
co-sponsored legislation to make lynching a hate crime alongside non other than none other than why am i saying non none other than california democratic senator Kam um, Ka uh, kamala harris who is now the democratic vice president nominee the legislation passed in the senate but was never passed by the house as demonstrators rocked the country this summer protesting against police brutality, the racism following the death of George Floyd, the president sought to console black Americans who have died as a result of police violence. However, he was consistently delivered a law and order message calling demonstrators thugs and anarchists and rebuking what he said was protesters mob rule. I'm going to explain something real quick, right? A lot of the protests were non-violent a lot majority the black people who showed up to these protests for the most part were non-violent if we go look at the people who are violent at a lot of these protests the people who are breaking windows starting stuff creating all of the fucking problems they weren't black people think about the individuals that was getting arrested for burning down cop cars those guys wasn't black a lot of those individuals that got in trouble for burning cop cars and burning stuff down were white people. And some of them were lawyers. So, hey. I'm going to um, let y'all read this yourselves. But basically, just so I could throw this out there, because uh, I, I, whether you know this or not, they're also setting to the side 500, was it billion or million dollars? No, it was billion. They're also setting to the side $500 billion to invest in the black community. Now, I'm sorry. I didn't even ever hear Democrats lie like this. So I get you. People want Trump out of office. We got to get Trump out of office. I get it. But once again, what are the Democrats doing for us? Please tell me what the Democrats did for us the last time they was in office. Can somebody explain this to me? Can somebody tell me what the Democrats did the time before that they was in office? I need somebody to explain this to me. You know how many Democratic um, presidents we had throughout the course of my life? Two. Clinton and Obama. And guess what? Neither one of them, when they got into the office, did anything to specifically help black people. I have no idea why black people think the next Democratic president is going to do different. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Mike Chai Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? <laughs>